Now, the back side to this story is that, remember, the, the, the guide is the tool to execute your plan. If you don't have a plan, then you got a guide to nowhere. It's like a bridge to nowhere, right? Remember that? The bridge to nowhere, right? You got to have a plan. So then people say, well, what do you mean? Well, if I was to say to you that I have in my course, I have 21 different guidelines that we do as a check step for every single implant we place. And then I was to turn to someone who's a freehand dentist. And I said, before you place that implant today, this afternoon, when you're going to place that implant, can you just write down on a piece of paper your guidelines for success? I don't know that they could get past three. Get implant in bone, right? That, that, that's the freehand approach. Get implant in bone. Try not to hit vital structures. Try. Capital. Try not to hit vital structures, right? Th there's very little in terms of a freehand implant placement where they can articulate the optimal implant location. When you do a virtual surgery, you have 100% control over where the implant's going on the computer screen, right? It's rather scary to someone who hasn't had that power and control, who's been placing implants for a while, to realize they have 100% control over where to place the implant, and they don't know where to place it because they never thought about it that way. What they've done is they've looked at the bone, and they go, there's the thicker part of the bone. There's the volume of bone. I know I'm going to get primary stability, and I put the implant there. Well, primary stability is important, but primary stability with an implant in the wrong location doesn't serve anyone. It doesn't serve anyone. You got to get the implant in the right location. Well, where's the right location? Well, let's go to the computer screen before we start. Let's do a virtual surgery to size the implant so we get the exact size that we need, length and diameter before we start in the right location, and then use the tool to execute. So just so that you understand, when you're looking for an educational opportunity, you must be trained on the planning part 